So hello there and welcome back to the channel. This is Mel's Gaming here with another Fishing Planet video. Now in this video we are going to be going after the seventh and last gate seal that we need for the Halloween missions, the Jack-O-Lantern. Now you can see here we have the mission and the mission description reads, item seven, Jack-O-Lantern. The last seal is the Jack-O-Lantern, which you will have to create yourself. You can get the pumpkin on an island in the San Joaquin Delta. Use fire from Steelhead Phantoms to guide your way. These monsters hunt at different times. So we have to go to the San Joaquin Delta, find a pumpkin on the island, then we have to equip the Charoite Spoon and catch Steelhead Phantoms weighing more than 15kg. We will need three of those weighing more than 15kg and then create the Jack-O-Lantern. So it seems easy enough and I'll tell you that this mission I thought was going to be pretty easy ended up being pretty difficult. The Steelhead Phantoms gave me a real good run for my money. Now this is the setup I ended up using to be able to catch the Steelhead Phantoms. You can see using the Shara White Spoon and yeah this setup worked really really well once I actually found a good spot to be able to catch them and that was honestly mostly the problem was finding the location for them. Now I also found on the island when going to look for the pumpkin a witching recipe book. Now that's going to be important for a little bit later in the video but on the other end of this tiny little island there was a pumpkin so that is what we need for this particular mission. So all we have to do now is catch steelhead phantoms weighing more than 15 kg. Now I spent a little while trying to work this mission out because it became very obvious to me just by looking around that there were spots both during the day and during the night that would have these red sort of will-o'-the-wisps hanging around and to me that indicated a location where you should be able to catch these steelhead phantoms. Well at the first couple of locations where I had these I was just not catching anything other than normal fish. But this particular spot ended up working really well, so I'll make sure to show the specific location of towards the end of the video. But I will now leave you to watch me catching the steelhead phantoms and then catch up with you a little bit later on in the video.
So finally I got that mission completed. That took a long time. The fights with the steelhead phantoms took a long time and you know just catching other fish in the, the meantime when they weren't biting ended up taking quite a long time surprisingly. But we got that mission done. Mission accomplished. Item 7, Jack-O-Lantern. So we now have all seven seals that are required. Everything is as it should be. Terrific work. Bring all seven seals and throw them into the fire. So I was really happy to actually get to this point. Honestly, when those steelheads, I just couldn't get them to bite for the longest time. I didn't know if I was going to be able to complete that mission. It took like three hours to do that one mission. So that took quite a while. I ended up catching some that weren't the right weight as well. So yeah, that one ended up taking a little bit of time. But now we have the mission to light the magic fire at Weeping Willow Fisheries. Now, remember I said about the witching book being important from earlier at the beginning of the video? Turns out that that was something we needed to actually be able to do the next part of the mission, which is Druidic Fire. So you can see one of the actual objectives here, one of the tasks, was to find the witch's recipe book you hid last year on the San Joaquin Delta. So that is the book that we picked up on the same little island as the pumpkin for the jack-o-lantern. So that was really easy. The magic fire we got at the very beginning when we met the druid stone for the first time. And it sounds weird to say met the druid stone, but it's it's kind of a character giving us missions. So yeah, but now we have to fish out a few pieces of bark and any few branches. So three branches and three pieces of bark and then light the fire. So that was really easy. I knew exactly where to go to get the branches and pieces of bark. There's a specific branch on the Mudwater River that I used to get the pieces of bark for the Dendrofin monster and it's this branch here that sticks out of the water and I knew by casting into this particular spot that I could really easily catch pieces of bark and pieces of wood but like I said this was just my particular little location to go to to farm for these items. I believe that anywhere where you can see a branch or like a tree trunk anything like that sticking out of the water you should be able to catch those items there. This is just the first spot that came to my mind so that's why I came here and you can see I'm just pulling out pieces of bark and all of the branches and everything we need now and the way I do this always is just to use a spinning setup and cast out and then reel back in as quickly as possible I find this to be the most efficient way to catch items like this also the way that I caught the frogs in the very sort of uh, beginning mission with the druid stone that's how I caught those anytime I need to catch something that's under the water um, other than fish obviously but things you know items whether it's creatures or pieces of natural material or pieces of rubbish anytime I have a mission like that this is always the way that I do it seems to work really really well so now we just need the last piece of bark and here it is quite a large piece of bark for the last piece but now all we have to do is go and light the fire so this is really cool I was very excited to actually get to this point in the mission and we're gonna head over to weeping willow fisheries and go ahead and light that fire so the fire location is right in the middle of the map and you'll see these red and glowy stones they are really cool looking it's kind of like they're almost like cracked with these red lines going through them it looks pretty awesome and you can see it's kind of like a, a rainy day here on the map at this time so it kind of looks uh, extra cool i think extra atmospheric really really awesome just the detail that they've gone into with these halloween missions is awesome but now put the branches down we have lit the fire you can see there we get the reward which is a hell's bell and now we have all seven magical items, so we don't need to do that. So all that's left to do is wait for Halloween Eve, as it says there, Hallow's Eve. So yeah, I will do another video when the time comes. Very interested to see what's going to be unlocked, what new missions, etc. Now that we've completed this. And yeah, I'm really excited about it, so there will definitely be a video on this. Fish and Planet have just done an incredible job with the Halloween missions and they've probably done really awesome missions before but this is my first year playing Fish and Planet and getting to experience the Halloween event and I just have to say that they've done such a fantastic job 
it is really awesome to see game devs putting in so much effort for events like this. I absolutely love it. And I can't wait for when Trophy Lodges come out because it has been said that, you know, they are working on Trophy Lodges for this game. I wonder if we'll be able to have some of the event fish up in that Trophy Lodge because I think that that would be awesome. And taking a look at the 3D model for the Steelhead Phantom here, I mean, the models for the event fish are awesome. They are beautiful. They are unique. Uh, it's, it's the same with the monster fish. They do such a fantastic job. It really is so, so awesome. But yeah, I'm really excited now for that next part when we get to put all of the magical seals on the fire. I can't wait to see what happens with that. But that is going to be it for this video. So thank you so, so much for watching and for all your support as always. And yeah, if you want to see that video, that will be the next one in this little Halloween series that I've been doing. But once again, just thank you so much for watching and for all your support as always. And I will see you in the next video. Thank you.